Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with another scrappy quilt block. This one is going to be made entirely with mini bricks. This is a new size that I sell in my sales. I wish I could cut more of them, but you know, I cut a lot of two inch squares and I love these too, but it's time consuming to cut all these little squares. I am going to tell you the size so you don't have to buy from me. You can cut them yourself. They are three and a half inches wide by two inches tall. Three and a half by two. And we need 18 of them for one quilt block. And I think this block is supposed to come out to about nine inches square. I'm hoping it's a little bit bigger, if I did my math right, so that it can be trimmed down to nine inches square. I just quickly designed this on this pixel art thing that I do, and it should all work out. I have not done it. I do have some duplicates in my batch of 18 because I just cut from scraps and I didn't want to try to dig up 18 different scraps. You can have this planned out with various colors that you want or you can just go scrappy and let's just start, okay? We are going to take two and we are going to sew these two on the long side. And at this point, I'm going to just finger press. You are welcome to press each and every time you put pieces together. And, you know, you can have it close to you. I can't because there's no room on this table next to me. <laughs> and then my camera is there. Now we're going to add a mini brick top and bottom. And it fits perfectly because we used a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And one on the bottom. Now we're going to put this guy aside for a little bit. I'll actually go press this. This is what we have. And if you have anything crooked on the edges, just trim that. I had a couple that were sticking out a little bit. Putting this aside. And now grab 12 of your remaining mini bricks and put them together in sets of two. We're going to be sending six sets through. You should have two left if you're starting with 18. Two singles left, we'll use those in a bit. And this time we are putting them together and we're sewing down the short side. This way. I'm going to leave that right there and I'm going to take two of these and I'm going to attach one of these leftover singles, well both of these singles, to a strip with two. And I'm just going to make sure I don't duplicate the print not going to be any fussier than that. So we want to turn two of these that have two, we want to turn them into three. And again, we're just sewing on the short side. You can finger press these guys or go to the ironing board. It's up to you. Now we can finish our block. We have everything that we need. So we're going to always be sewing like where we have intersections, only they're not intersections. We have no intersections in this block, which is cool. But what I'm saying is, you know, obviously this would not fit up here. So we're doing it on the side. We're going to put one of these. Let's get the purple a little bit more away. I like it like this. So we're going to put a strip of two on each side of the center that we made. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm going to go press it. Now we have this. So we're going to take two strips with two and we're going to do that on the top and bottom. Let me move this guy down here. Like that. And I'll press. We have this, and all we have left to do now is add our strips of three to where they fit. And let's see, a little bit of pink, pink. Maybe I can swap these guys. I like that. We are done. Let me press it and trim it. This is what we have. I like it. It is so scrappy looking. I was able to trim this down to nine inches. It should be nine and a half inches if we had perfect quarter inch seams, but we don't. I don't. And I, I was able to trim it to nine. I really like that. If you were to make an entire quilt like this, you could save time because this is you know, quite a bit of sewing, but you could save time by just gathering up all your mini bricks. And, you know, we have a lot of these that are just too connected on the short end. You could send a whole bunch of those through and then, you know, figure out how many you need that are three and you could send some of those through. And then, you know, it's, you have all your parts to make the block. I really enjoyed making this. What did I want to say about the narrow strips? Oh yeah, I tend to press more when I'm working with strips that are kind of narrow. It's a little bit, you know, better to be a little bit more accurate when you don't have, you know, a lot of width to play with. But I found that this was very easy to make. I didn't trim along the way. Sometimes I had uneven edges and I just eyeballed it where I wanted to lay my strip down. And I think uh, it came out really good. I'm going to show you a few pictures there, and you'll see a little slideshow at the very end. And I guess this is the very end. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.